Do you know who Jay Sebring is? Well, he's very f famous because he was massacred in the Manson massacre with Sharon Tate, which happened 10 years after the, when I met him. We introduced ourselves. He said, well, I'm opening the very first salon for men, hairstyling, in America. It didn't exist. You know, guys went to barber shops for like a dollar. He said, I'm going to charge $10. I'm going to shampoo the hair. I'm going to do something that no one's ever done before. This is going to be the coming thing. And he said to me, don't become a hairstylist for women. Join forces with me. I said, yes. Overnight, our clientele came from like a Hollywood's who's who. Frank Sinatra, Marlon Brando, Steve McQueen, Rock Hudson, Paul Newman, Peter Sellers, Glenn Campbell, Roy Orbison, everyone in music, motion pictures, and television came to us. April 30th, 1964. My phone rang, and on the other end, the voice said to me, uh, Larry, I'm sitting here with Elvis Presley. And the moment I heard his voice, I, I must say Elvis Presley, I listened. <laughs> he said, We're, uh, I'm at his house here in Bel Air. And he wants to know if you'd like to come up to his house to fix his hair. I'll never forget that, those words, you know. I said, yeah, I'd love to. Drove up to Elvis's house. I walk in. Someone ushers, leads me into the den, and I'm looking around. About 30 seconds later, here comes Elvis. He walks up to me. He says, hi, I'm Elvis Presley. He goes, come on, man. We're going to my bathroom. He fix my hair, we'll talk. Great. I started to do his hair. It took me about 40 minutes, 35, 40, 40, whatever. So I blow dry it. I spritz it. I said, what do you think, Elvis? He goes, beautiful, beautiful, man. And he, put, he goes like this. Who are you? Who are you, Larry? What are you really all about? What are you really into? I, I started to panic within myself. What? What the F is going on? I'm in Elvis Presley's bathroom? I just did his hair. He's asking me this. I said, well, Elvis, you know, you know what I do for a living. What I'm really into is my search for truth, for God. Why are we here, Elvis? Why, why, why does life exist? And I said, well, wait, Elvis, you're the biggest star on planet Earth. This probably sounds corny to you. He said, whoa, man, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You have no idea how much I need to hear what you have to say. Please, Larry, please keep on talking. He said, why me? Why me? He said, Larry, why was I, he went like this, why was I plucked out of all the millions and millions of people to become Elvis Presley and have the life that I have. And we got into a conversation about his life and my life and about why we're here. And it was about two hours later. I said, yeah, I gotta get back, Elvis. He said, I have a better idea. In fact, it's a brilliant idea. Go back, tell Jay Sebring that you're quitting because you work for Elvis Presley full time. What do you think? I said, yes, that's beautiful, Elvis, I'd love to. And that began my career with Elvis. In 1965, we wrapped Paradise Wine Stop. Now we head back to Memphis. We get in the Dodge Mobile home, and he's driving. He looks at me, he said, Larry, I got it, man. I got it. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a gospel album I mean a real jubilee gospel album. The next eight months, Elvis listens to every gospel song ever recorded. We go to Nashville, Tennessee, to RCA Recording Studio. And Elvis said, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. This is not just another rock and roll album. This is not one of those movie songs I sing. This is God's music. And you know as well as I do, God works in mysterious ways, man. We don't know who's going to listen to this. And if one person 
is helped by it. If one person get, can get inspired, then I've done my job. So what I'm getting at is, I'm not getting out of this chair. I'm not going to use this voice that's been given to me until my ego is out of the way. No ego. I want to hear that little voice, that still small voice within me. And I'll know if I'm ready, because I can only do this if I'm ready. So turn the lights down, Larry. Let's uh, say a prayer. Let's meditate. That's what we did. About 12, 13 minutes later, all of a sudden I heard uh, Elvis's soft voice saying, I'm ready. Let's hit it. Go to the studio. And the irony of it is, the name of the album was How Great Thou Art. And that's where the king of rock and roll won his Grammy from that album.